Hey there guys, how's it going? Reaper here and I'm back with another painting video. And this time we're doing Anton Guffin, who is essentially Iron Man from Zombicide Green Horde. And it's actually a really simple paint job, like a lot simpler than I thought it would be. But then I did only use like four colors, I believe in the end. Anyway, we primed it in standard gray, same thing I use all the time when I prime minis. And we've just got Army Painters Greedy Gold and I'm covering everything like every part of this mini apart from the mace there's the only thing i didn't paint gold at the start is obviously getting it's essentially a gold primer if you have a gold primer use that but i don't think a gold primer exists although it might i haven't i just haven't seen one i guess <laughs> Now yeah, that's it for the gold paint. Now we move on to rough iron, which is what I paint the mason. And looking over the model, he has small bits of chainmail shining through his armor. So once I've done the mace, I go on and start just touching them in. It's, I wanted to break up the gold a bit, otherwise it's going to be too much. You know, it will look more like a statue than an actual person in gold armor. And. Normally I do chainmail in sort of a silvery colour, but this model is already very bright. So the rougher iron, because it's very dark, it just sort of contrasts nicely and gives you that nice effect that you want. And there we go. That's it for the rough iron and then we move on to Probably the longest stage of this mini is the shining silver and he's got lots of straps and bars and things over his armor so I've just done all of them in the silver which essentially just breaks up the gold otherwise it would be too much. Now I was originally thinking this is Iron Man I might as well do it in red and gold but I don't have a red metallic and mixing metallics is it's hard we'll just say that trying to make an actual red metallic is very difficult to do because you would have thought the silver is just silver but no it's actually gray paint mixed with a metallic compound so in order to get red from gray it would basically remove most of the metallic compound and wouldn't be metallic but i have seen i believe it's vallejo that do it it's like a transparent uh, metallic so you can actually mix it with other colors so you get all the different color metallics which i do need to get because it would be handy to have and would have been great for this but i just didn't have it at the time
as you can see this is taking a very long time like it is a very fiddly and finicky thing to do but once it's all finished and once the wash goes on it makes it look so much better like if i didn't do this and just washed it it just wouldn't look the same like you need that other color to break it up otherwise you would just have a gold miniature no i couldn't think there's no other color this could be either because it is metallic but i suppose i could have done it in like a copper color but a copper would have looked a lot like the gold and wouldn't have had much as much of an effect as silver but there we go that is the end of the silver and then we move on to copper strangely enough but this is just for the top of the mace and i do he has a little sort of chest piece which is basically the arc reactor for my man so i just quickly done that in a bit of copper as well just to make it pop out there a little bit but that's it for the copper then we move on to the wash and i'm using army painters soft tone I didn't want it to be very strong. Like soft tone is very good because it's very it's almost translucent in a sense. So it will just sit in the middle or sit in the edges, even not in the middle, and just makes everything stand out and gives the shadow. And going on a light colour such as gold, it won't stain it so much. As you see, quickly just removing little bits that pulled where they shouldn't have done. And that is it. That's the wash done and dry. And then you come back with greedy gold again and just touch up areas. Like any large areas that have been stained a little bit, just quickly go over it, give it a bit of a shine again. And that will be it for the mini. Now, of course, there is a lot of gold on this mini, so it does take a while to get round and actually, well, stain them. But this is just, don't go anywhere near any recesses and the edges are all silver anyway. And the silver hasn't actually changed much, so I left it how it was. But it's just the gold, I just wanted to bring the gold back up to a shine. But there, as you can see when that went on there, that was clearly a different colour. But you still want the shiny gold. Otherwise he's not really wearing gold armour, he's just wearing stained armour. Which is not really as good. And someone with gold armor would take care of it. And if Minecraft thought it was anything, it probably wouldn't be that good either. But this guy looks pretty well armored and ready to go. But that is it. That is essentially the mini done. We move on to Army Painters Matte Black, just for the base. And there are no final images of this mini because when I varnished it, uh, it basically got stuck to something and then when I pulled it off it pulled most of the paint off before I could take photos so what you see here is how the minis ended I just haven't got any close-up photos of it but it's been a good mini and I've enjoyed painting it and I can't wait to get into more of this set but that's it guys cheers for watching like subscribe if you did enjoy and drop a comment if you want to see more I'll see you soon